Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to talk about the AP statistics problem on finding the area under the normal curve. But before I want to get started, uh, I would like to mention that I have solved all statistics problems for you in this channel. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button because then you will have free access to all kinds of statistics problems solved just for you. So without further ado, I will get started. A large restaurant chain often promotes new menu items by offering them in specifically selected restaurants. The restaurant chain selects one location at random. Then it looks at the sales income for that item on a randomly selected day during the promotional period. If the sales income but the item is greater than $500, this item will be added to the company's permanent menu. Restaurant X is selected at random. The sales of the new item are normally distributed with a mean of 470 and a standard deviation of 53. Based on the selection criteria, what is the probability that the new item will be approved for adoption. So I have drawn a normal distribution curve, a bell-shaped curve with mean 470 and standard deviation of 53, okay? And we know the new item will be adopted if the sales of the new item exceed $500. So we have to find the area under the normal curve to the right of 500 to get the probability of X greater than 500, where X is the sale of that particular item on a randomly selected day. <clears throat> if the selected new item is greater than $500, then it will be adopted. To find the probability of the sales greater than 500, we have to find the area under the normal curve to the right of 500. We will use TI-84 calculator for this. We will assume the curve stretches to E99, which is exponent 99, or one followed by 99 zeros, which is a very large number on the right-hand side. So in order to find the area, we press the second key in the calculator, then verse key in the calculator, and then scroll down to normal CDF. And when we see normal CDF, when the cursor is aligned with normal CDF, then we'll hit enter and the following screen opens up lower. So we are starting from 500. We want to fi find the area to the right of 500. So my lower is 500, my upper is E99. Again, E stands for capital E stands for exponent 99. That means one followed by 99 zeros. So in our calculator to get E, we have to press the second button, then the comma button. Where is the comma button? On top of seven. Okay, that will give E and then we'll type 99, which is a very large number. Mu, mean is 470, standard deviation is 53. And then we bring the cursor down on best and hit enter and enter. And we get the result. So the probability of X greater than 500 is 0 0.2856. I'll stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'm sure coming back next time with another AP statistics problem solved all for you. Take care and have a nice day.